How to format your novel. Hello and welcome to Video Jug. You might have the potential to be a truly great novelist, but you'll never get past the post room at the publishing house unless you play by the rules when it comes to laying out your novel. Pedantic maybe, but essential definitely. Watch on for our handy guide to fiction formatting. Step 1. Don't submit handwritten work. It's fine to write your first draft by hand if that's how you work best, but when it comes to submitting your novel to an agent or a publisher, it must be typed. If you can't do it yourself, there are secretarial services on offer who will type up your work for a fee. Step 2. Do format as you go. If you're typing it yourself and format your work as you write rather than correcting everything at the end, it'll save you a lot of time and you'll be less likely to overlook details. Step 3. Don't squash your work. All work should be double-spaced with a wide left-hand margin of at least 40 millimetres. This lets editors and publishers make legible notes on your work. The text should be aligned to the left-hand side of the page. Don't justify your work, as it causes problems for the designers and typesetters should your novel make it to the print stage. Justified text also makes it harder to gauge your word count. Step 4. Do use the right font. Keep your typeface simple and easy to read. All text should be printed in black and you should use a non-fussy standard font, such as Times New Roman, Helvetica or Arial, in 12-point size so it's clear. Avoid formatting your font with bold or italics. If you want to emphasise a word or phrase, underline it. An editor will know what you mean. Step 5. Check your spelling and punctuation. A badly spelled or poorly punctuated piece of work creates a terrible impression so make sure you keep your punctuation and spelling consistent and accurate. If you use a capital for a certain noun or name, make sure you always do so. Use a single space after a full stop, comma, colon, semicolon and other punctuation marks. Use a single space before and after any hyphen. Don't indent new paragraphs. Although not strictly speaking wrong, it's considered unnecessary. Instead, leave a single line gap. Start each new section of dialogue spoken by a character on a new line of the page. This makes it easier for the reader to follow. Make sure you also thoroughly spell check your synopsis and your covering letter. Editors and agents don't like careless writers. Step 6. Number your pages and chapters. You only need to drop your masterpiece once to realise that unnumbered pages are a nightmare. Number each page consecutively. Start chapter 1 at page 1 and keep going from there. Don't start each new chapter at 1 again. Page numbers should be positioned either in the centre of the page footer or in the top right-hand corner of the page header. Step 7. Add your name and book title. Along with the page number, you should also include your name and the title of your book, or a portion of the title if it's too long, so that any pages which go astray on an editor's desk can easily find their way home. Step 8. Print it out. If you've named, numbered, spell-checked and double-checked your work, it's time to print it out ready to send to the professionals. Use good quality white A4 printer paper. Print on one side only and bear in mind that your work may pass through many sets of hands on its way to finding a publisher. Now that your brand new blockbuster is formatted and ready to go, why not watch video jugs what to send to publishers and agents to find out how to put together a professional looking submission to grab the attention of the publishing bigwigs. Done.